So I get on here onto the YouTubes today just to kind of scroll through and answer questions and blah, blah, blah. And I come across this. They're trying to vote, uh, vote to ban B12 in California. Like they already make it really hard to get B12 in this country as it is. And it's not just vegans that are low in B12. It's something like 20 to 25% of the population. And now they're trying to ban it in, in Wokefornia, like uh, the, the state. I don't know how people live there. Uh, issues, health problems, including cancer. And on Thursday, the California Board of Pharmacy will vote on whether or not to restrict access to certain medications that many in the firefighting community why, why, why are we still, I mean, the masks, it's 2024. It's not doing anything for you. Community rely on up for debate are category one sterile compounds that include B12. What is wrong with people? I still see this everywhere I go. You're in their car or the mask on. You're a moron, a moron. 12 shots and glutathione. <sighs> Crystal Frost is funny. I mean, I know I've said this on this channel before. I've seen somebody swimming with one of them things on. I shouted. I'm like, you're a moron. They got so mad. I don't I, like a moron. Like, I, I just don't I don't get it to preserve access. She's part of this movement. It's known as Stop the Bop or Stop the Board of Pharmacy. And Crystal is here in studio tonight. Good to have you. You were with us last month and there has been some progress in this fight to stop the bop in that the California Board of Pharmacy a month ago, they were seeking to fully ban these category one sterile compounds. They've since revised their language to restrict access to it. In other words, they're saying yeah, that makes sense. It's they're banning it from you, but we're just going to restrict it from you now. What's the difference? Firefighting uh, community, they could still have access to glutathione, which helps them recover after a firefight. They just need to get uh, permission from us, essentially, in order to do this. Seems like good progress. Why is that not good enough? Okay, well, there's a few reasons. First of all, there's a lot of answers to that question, but one of the reasons specifically is something that they're not telling you, which is that the price is gonna go up exponentially. They're, they're, they're requiring pharmacies to do extensive additional testing that's not required for other treatments, other drugs, and um, powders that arrive at how people can't see what's going on in this country, I have no idea. You got people coming from other socialist countries warning us about how bad this shit is getting. And everybody's like, oh, uh, I'll just stare at my phone over here. They're going to take it from you anyways. Uh, hopefully, uh, you know, you, you like looking at your phone because it's going to be gone. Uh, uh, compounding pharmacies will have crazy. to be sent right back out to do thousands of dollars of more testing and this testing is redundant these are tests that would have already been done on these everything the government does is redundant compounds so prices will go up and the consumer will feel that and and i think our estimate is it'll go up at least three times as high we don't we obviously don't have the exact number for that right now um the other thing the other thing that they're not telling you is that the whole point of them writing these regulations is to sort of codify their extreme stance that they've actually had for years they've been enforcing what we're calling underground regulations because they're not actual laws, they're not real regulations yet, and yet they've been using intimidation to try and, you know, they've been using intimidation and lawsuits and penalizing pharmacies for producing these substances, even though they're legal. So it's had a statewide chilling effect, and pharmacies are already too scared to produce these substances, and pharmacies out of state are also too scared to sell these substances in California. So it's already hurting us. And, and there's no restriction. This is nuts. And you know, here's the thing, I would say, Get out of California, but nobody wants you. Like everywhere you guys go, you just erode everything. Like look at what has happened to Austin. Look at what ha what's happened to uh, Boise. There's signs everywhere. No Californians wanted. So I like, you know, I would tell you to leave, but I don't want you here either. Like I don't want your ideals here. C keep it there. So I, I, you guys are gonna have to build your own state. Like I don't know. I don't know what you guys are gonna do, but this is ridiculous restrictions at all for, for B12 shots or glutathione in any of the other states. So no. California would be the most restrictive. And for those saying, I don't, know, I don't know what glutathione is, it's a natural antioxidant that helps many, as mentioned in the firefighting community, but things like chronic fatigue, asthma, cancers, autoimmune disorders. Let's hear from somebody. Uh, this is a Bay Area firefighter who is doing her part to get her voice heard. Hi, my name is Stephanie Ensley. I'm a volunteer firefighter. I'm out on the park fire right now volunteering. We're exposed to incredible toxins. 
people still got volunteer firefighters? I thought that was something that you only see in movies. While fighting wildland fires and structure fires, etc., please do not remove our access to glutathione as it's one of the only things out there that will reduce the toxins that I'm exposed to and prevent me from getting cancer. There is a lot of public support for your movement. If this, in fact, is restricted on Thursday by the Board of Pharmacy, how dire would that be? It would be very dire because it, it's... Wayne Dyer. Essentially, what they've done is they've chipped away, you know, at, at compounding pharmacies and their ability to just operate like normal, like normal in other pharmacies. And these are pharmacies that are depended on by people with very, very severe health problems. Now, I am not in the pharmacies at all. I think they should just be completely removed at all. You know, just comp just remove it. Like, you know, it's ridiculous. Like, most of this stuff is so terrible for you, you shouldn't be taking it. But B12? I know I'm going to get attacked for saying that, but it's ridiculous. We used to, like, before the AMA, we, you know, you just went to, like, a, a person who actually healed you. And now they got all this, you know, petrol runoff that they got to get rid of. Ugh, the whole thing is just so pathetic. People who need custom medications, and it feels to us like, com like the, the Board of Pharmacy is trying to drive compounding pharmacies out of California because we used to have 100 sterile compounding pharmacies in California and we're down to 18. Oh, and wow. so these regulations are still very, very stringent and they're going to harm pharmacies and they're going to harm their patients. And the other thing, like I said before, is it does nothing. They've done nothing to undo the damage that's already been done with their underground regulations, which have, have scared pharmacies out of producing these substances in the first place. Pharmacies have faced lawsuits and, and um, you know, a lot of consequences. So how can people get involved? The Board of Pharmacy will meet on Thursday and public comment is welcome. Yes, yes. So we highly encourage that people get involved and they can go to our website, stopthebob.com slash act now. And there, there's access links. They can join the board meeting and they can give a public comment. They're, they're going to be allotted between two and five minutes. It varies. Um, and they can, the other thing they can do is sign the petition, which is at change.org slash stopthebob. We highly encourage people to get involved reach out to us they can email us it's we're, we're easy to contact um okay yeah the, the i mean this is about the most i can do because i'm not in california nor nor would i want to be i have no interest but uh wow i it starts off with this and then they just keep going more and more and more and more stuff to to, to the point of just Look what's going on in China and stuff like that. And just saying the word China is probably like a shadow ban in and, in and of itself. The whole thing, this it's just, it is a nightmare right now. Whatever else. Anyway, that's that's it. Comments, questions, like, subscribe. Talk to you in the next one.